Tanadang, 30s poets. Oh, the 30s poets were late modernists and they had classical approach. You all know probably that they are also called Arden group. Shall we talk about them? You must have watched the videos on modernism already. You know that modernism talks about the confusions and fragmentation, the anxieties of the early 20th century, which was the result of the war. Same with uh, Auden group. Auden group also responded to the problems like Spanish civil war. Okay, one by one, I will explain everything. Don't worry. The 30s poets were uh, W. H. Auden, Stephen Spender, Louis McNeese, Cecil Day Lewis, Christopher E. Sherwood, so many poets who were called Max Ponde by Roy Campbell. Roy Campbell called them Max Ponde. And it was not a good word, it was a derogatory word. All the Auden group poets were educated in one university. Which university? No, 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 it is not JNU. No, no, not Delhi University. <laughs> it is Oxford University. The Auden group were educated in Oxford University. So they were called Oxford group of poets. Did you know they were all bisexual? All of them took part in the Spanish Civil War. All of them had industrial imagery in their poetry. Industrial imagery. Stephen Spender especially wrote a poem called The Pylons about uh, uh, some instrument used in electrical transmission. So they were called Pylon poets because they used industrial imagery. They had a classical approach and also the Auden group were late modernists. The Auden group of poets were late modernists. Matlab, they reacted against high modernism. They did not follow the uh, principles of high modernism completely. They wrote in a very self-consciously modern style. Okay, classical and modern. But they were not experimental like the uh, early modernists or high modernists. Did I sp speak too fast? Did you follow everything I said? Do you want me to recap once again? Slowly I will say. Auden group, educated in Oxford. They were all classical in their approach. They used industrial imagery, so pylon poets. And they were late modernists. One more point I will add. They were, took part in Spanish Civil War and they were partly communists. They were partly communist. That means not fully red but pink. Pink poets they were called. And um, they all wrote uh, without the experimentation of the modernists. Auden, Stephen Spender, Cecil Day Lewis, Christopher Sherwood. These are the important people. They were called Max Ponde by Roy Campbell. Take care. Now we will talk about W. H. Auden, born in 1907. Aray, that is the year in which our Radyat Kipling got Nobel Prize. Auden was only born, he was just a baby. Where is he born? He was born in York. Did you know, guys? I'm so fascinated by it. He was born in York. Later, he emigrated to New York in America. He was interested, all of these uh, 30s poets were interested in Germany. Auden had a German wife also, okay? In America, he also converted to Anglicanism. Now, I will talk to you about Auden's works. So now guys, early poems of Auden were modernist, okay? But later, he began writing more religious and ethical themes. An early poem by Auden from 1932 is The Orators. The orators and uh, if from this period onwards he was showing classical influence and leftist influence. At this time he also wrote some verse drama, poetic drama along with Christopher Isherwood. Plays like uh, The Ascent of F6, The Dog Beneath the Skin etc. Some other works by Auden shall I tell you about? Letters from Iceland, travelogue and letters written along with Louis McNeese. Another time is a famous collection of poems. Guys, I will tell you these, uh, these major poets, 
uh, you should know the names of their major collections okay some match the following etc might come Auden wrote another time uh, among his early poems there are very famous ones which are often prescribed Muse the Beau Arts in memory of W B Yeats the unknown citizen many of these are critical of the age itself september 1 1939 is about the uh, day on which world war 2 broke out and uh, then he has written some religious poems as i told you uh, the sea and the mirror is a commentary on tempest then the age of anxiety is there uh, shield of achilles homage to cleo as the titles suggest there is a connection with mythology and past in many of these poems have you heard of the fall of rome prologue at 60 these are also prescribed poems please look them up okay read them guys so many poems that all these people wrote orden himself wrote so many poems you will be thinking she said so many titles how will i remember it is so difficult i understand guys i understand your problems you know why i understand because i was exactly the same actually you people are far ahead of me when i was doing my ma or ba i did not know anything at all i was like wondering especially because it was before the age of internet it was so difficult to get information so what i did in those days i will share with you because you will really be benefited from my own story of how i managed the information okay what i did was whenever i found new information instead of writing it here and there instead of uh, losing it studying and then losing it i did one important thing i computerized everything i put everything in a word file or P pdf sorry ppt powerpoint presentation and when i got new new information i kept adding to it where in the correct place so that powerpoint presentation grew that word file grew today also i write it i do it when i get something new about orden immediately i will add it to the powerpoint presentation of orden so in some years in some time na the information that i collected became so huge and also i did not lose anything you should also do it guys it is not just enough i'm telling you something very important it is not just enough to just study 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 so many hours quantity is not what is important what is important is quality and also management manage the points you know the information you know put it all together as soon as possible make it computerized put it in the computer so that by the time you finish the course or pass you will also be able to make your own encyclopedia did you understand i always tell everybody i am not uh, thinking that i am the only person who can make an encyclopedia like this every single one of you can put together information you can just collect more and more add interesting details and when you put like that you will be motivated to do extra reading you will wonder what is happening here something is not clear like that do research build it up build it up and you will become truly great scholars and uh, people you teach will be benefited you will become more confident and it will be easier to remember also okay so that is very very important uh remember to store all this information together instead of just watching videos collect information and make your own notes make it your own like ezra pound said make it new he said like i am telling you make it new make it yours okay so with that i am moving on to the next writer orden's companion uh, cecil de lewis is also a very important poet along with writing poetry he wrote mystery novels mystery stories under the name nicolas blake i think they have asked this in a previous year exam very famous as cecil de lewis is uh, the magnetic mountain Now remember guys the magic mountain was written by thomas man this is the magnetic mountain it's a political allegory representing a mountain then there are many other uh, poetry collections transitional poem the feathers to iron a hope for poetry ne next there is a question of proof 
it is a, actually not a poem it is a detective novel remember cecil de lewis wrote detective novels and his autobiography is important the buried day because non fiction or prose is a prescribed uh, genre for you all remember to look up the non fiction non poetic works of these writers also did you know guys the, he was also a very classical writer cecil de lewis and he translated the aeneid and virgil's eclogues he translated aeneid and eclogues he also cecil de lewis also uh, talked about the past quite a lot then we have christopher isherwood he was uh, important not only as a poet but as a pioneer of uh, gay liberation movement lgbtiq and uh, he was a friend of uh, wh arden he has written novels uh, drama remember along with wh arden he has written poetic plays a novel that he has written is all the conspirators now guys tell me which author am i talking about let me see if you are paying attention yes it is christopher isherwood now he wrote a lot of uh, stories and he was friends with truman capote Uh, american writer and also he was in hollywood he works in he worked in hollywood okay guys what are the plays written by christopher isherwood the dog beneath the skin or where is francis remember then the ascent of f6 it is about mountaineering f6 is a mountain on the frontier etc christopher isherwood i have already mentioned in alda saxley did you watch the video on alda saxley what is the importance of christopher isherwood and alda saxley bolo bolo christopher isherwood like alda saxley was interested in vedanta christopher isherwood along with swami prabhavananda wrote the song of god or bhagavad gita to which uh, alda saxley wrote the introduction remember then louis macnees he was an irish writer that is why macnees i just mentioned him remember orden and macnees together wrote letters from iceland and macnees's major poems are prescribed bagpipe music meeting point snow snow is also a book by orhen pamuk and louis macnees has written birmingham and then we have a major writer stephen spender very major writer of the uh, orden group stephen spender was involved with the anti uh, stalinist book darkness at noon he contributed to it stephen spender has written many poetry collections and also works other than poetry world within world is an autobiography trial of a judge is a tragedy Oedipus trilogy Stephen Spender has written Oedipus trilogy did you know that don't forget and there is a novel that he wrote called the temple now in many universities stephen spender's one poem is prescribed have you studied it an elementary school classroom in a slum there is a slum there is an elementary school classroom there small children studying there there are poor children okay they are there are pictures on the walls of the classroom about the world about shakespeare about traveling and ships and stephen spender being partly marxist he is saying that these children should be given some opportunities to come up in life they should be given chances uh, to grow otherwise all these exposure to the world that they are getting will only turn them into frustrated people criminals etc poor people need help i mean they should be taken uh, seriously in a country they need uh, the support of the government and the mainstream communities that's a very important idea in an elementary school classroom in a slum i also told you he wrote the pylons which is uh, uh, talking about village life vis-a-vis -vis modern science remember pylons is something used in the a gadget used in the transmission of electricity okay so that is about the 30s poets